Oh no, he's falling like a bowling ball in a pin pinko machine. Well, actually, pinko machines are bigger than that, but yeah. Do 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 do. Kurt Kerman, you're on a very important mission here. Well, you know, I mean, Edpond got to stay on the moon. Jeb got to land on the moon first. Someone landed on Minmus, I think. I could be wrong. I I forgot what achievements uh, your brothers have done. But ne nevertheless, your mission is still important. To send this probe up into space. To provide us relays and docking station. Man, this thing sure does like to spin, huh? You spin, I don't... Oh, just like that sim. Ugh. That's a great episode here. Yeah, of the sim series. You're gonna see that eventually, but... Or maybe no. Depends on when I upload this. I think he re realized what I realized. It's kind of unnecessary, isn't he? Because drones kind of fly themselves. Especially since it's night right now, that's fine. We can like launch it in during the morning. So, good coming. Ah, Your glorious son has come out to play. Ah, that means this is good. This is good conditions. As you can see, not a cloud in the sky. Good conditions for launch. And the rocket off it goes. But it left you behind because you didn't climb back in. Well, aren't you a clever monkey? Oh look at that, that's one hell of a... Whee! You are getting very sleepy. Very sleepy. You will subscribe to... Sleepy Mice's channel. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Well, I guess this saves us from like saying are we there yet. <sighs> well, might as well... S Set the uh, most embarrassing walk ever back to the vehicle vehicle assembly building. Mayday! 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 The drone is going down. Save the drone. The most important bit. And the drone is coming for a nice smooth landing. That was it. Was its mission? As you can see, the space center is there, and its mission was to land here, so it can observe the sun. Hey buddy, I got good news for you. The drone crashed. Good thing. <laughs> nice face plum. Uh, the drone crashed over there. So you can just go like, you don't have to walk all the way to the vehicle assembly building. You can just like go to the drone and then just climb in and pretend you were in there. No one will notice. So sh quick, shift a little buddy. Shift! Oh no, the cliff! No! And thus, Cody said, All power to the engine! Ugh, that's a sprained uncle right there. I know, because I'm an uncle doctor. Is that a thing? I feel like that's a thing. That engine isn't on. It's a traitor, comrade. <laughs> Look at this spaceship. It's a probe, and yet it's flying through. Like, it, it doesn't have any humans, that's what prob means. I just put these because my contract requires me to have like seven seats, so that's like two, three. That's basically three, three, and then like two extra. I guess there's eight seats in this space prob thingy. It's very cool. But the, for a prob, this is flying nicely. Like, this is just straight up. It's, it's even so fast that it's getting like red he he's. Nice little separation there of the boosters, and yeah, and it's pretty much this is what the spaceship looks like now. It's um very interesting design. I call it uh, society. <laughs> so this is interesting because the way I attached them, um, this basically counts as one unit because they're like touching. So basically, these engines have like. Look how cool that looks! They all have basically the huge tank as the supply. It's 
so cool. It's almost like a real spaceship, like sci-fi stuff. Just like they have a bunch of lasers come out of it. It's great. Wow, look at that orbit though. Now that's a beautiful orbit. Ignore the space debris, I should turn those off. Um, yes, there we go. Huh, that real is still going on. Anyway, the point is that, um, see? 3400? And that's basically, I mean, it's not the most perfect. It's more like an egg than a thingy, but that's fine. And look at that, I got like orbit around Kerbin complete. And uh, new station around Kerbin. All that sweet mula. Okay, so you might ha might have noticed those people, okay, down there. And I feel I am sorry, I lied to you, okay. There were people on this ship, okay. But they weren't my Kerbin. They were just tourists. So basically, uh, to because of how you have to actually pray up front to launch a rocket you can't just like take it on the credit okay i had to stuff these people into the seats so they would give me money for the ride up front so i could buy this rocket and build it around kerbin and now they will float over for a while around here i wouldn't say forever but uh, it might be forever I'm sorry guys, but um, gotta make that mullah, you know what I'm saying? He knows, he definitely knows. Oops, <laughs> accidentally launched the rocket into the space, like farther in space. But I mean, I got plenty of fuel for them to return one day, it's fine. For now I'm gonna use this as a re refueling platform anyway. Like, I got uh, docking po parts touched. Once I research, like, um... Well, I got... Oh, crap. I got only the single docking port. Uh-oh. <laughs> I might have to send the ship home. Because <laughs> uh, I need... I should have attached those here. I didn't think it was gonna make it, quite honestly. That's why I didn't bother, but I should have attached them here. That would be perfect. But it's fine. Uh, once I research, like, SC RCS thrusters, then I can maneuver in space and dock in space and that's gonna be great. But I think this will do for this episode. So I know it's a very short one, but uh, yeah. I mean, nothing that exciting happened. Also, I don't have much time. <sighs> Lovely. Make sure to subscribe and like and all that. I don't say that as often as I should, but here's the thumbnail. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <sighs>